This video is to give you a solution on how to fix the kernel power code 41. Now, for those of you who are looking for the short answer, I'm just gonna get to the point. If at any point you feel you have enough information to make your move, feel free to get to work. But if you keep listening, I'm also going to explain why this little solution worked for me and thus should work for you. So if you're having problems with kernel power code 41, error code 63, then try this simple fix. Flash your BIOS backwards one or two updates. Why? Because most people update their BIOS just because there's a new one available, not giving much thought as to what they're really doing. I say one or two updates because it's likely that you had a stable system and wanted to maintain or improve that system. You might have looked around and found that there was a new BIOS available, and without hesitation, poof, you flashed your BIOS. Now, to be fair, some may have to go backwards a few more updates. The easiest way to tell how far back you need to go is to simply think about your PC and when it was the most stable. Most manufacturers keep BIOS updates available for years. Asus is very good at this. I can go back to my very first BIOS. If you can't find it online, do you have the original driver disk from your manufacturer? Now, to understand this, think of your computer as the human body. The CPU, or central processing unit, and the hard drive are like the brain and the heart trying to work together to keep the PC functioning. Now between the brain and the heart, you have what's called the brainstem. In your computer, you have what's called the BIOS, or basic input-output system. This is where the communication process takes place. Simply put, if you disrupt the BIOS, you disrupt the system, much like disrupting the brainstem between the heart and the brain. Changing your BIOS unnecessarily would be like doing brainstem surgery on a body that doesn't require it. Likely you're having problems with your computer because of doing such a surgery as changing your BIOS unnecessarily. Now, don't get me wrong, I tried other solutions that I saw online, such as switching the AHCI to IDE mode. What that did was cause me to lose some of my data rate capabilities. Then I changed my power options, and that really had very little effect, if any. I even used the MSI Afterburner, and that worked for a little while, but the problem still existed. And besides, who really wants to operate a computer with a crutch? And then I tried reinstalling my OS, and anyone who has had to do this knows how painful just the thought of that is. In the end, I talked to a friend who explained it to me in straight terms just like I've explained it to you. Changing your BIOS is like trying to change your brainstem. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And remember, whenever you do your BIOS flashing, whether forward or backwards, save all of them. You never know when you're going to need them. The only thing this will cost you is a little bit of space on your drive and the time it takes for your computer to flash. Thanks for listening. They call me the G, and it worked for me. I hope it does for you.